Pasadena for generations. This has been known as a Pac-12 matchup. It's after dark. It's football between Oregon and UCLA, but this, the Big Ten. Oregon plays their first game in this new league for the first time. UCLA in game number two in the Big Ten. Glad you're with us. Mark Helfrich, I'm Connor Onion. UCLA, the underdog coming into tonight. Mark, it's really about taking some risks to try to pull the upset. They have to. Just three plays of 29 yards or more so far this season for the offense. they got to take risks in every phase. That's pressure. That's in special teams and certainly on offense. And for Oregon to, to kind of hold that undefeated record, it's be efficient. Yeah. yeah, be efficient. They have a quarterback completing 84% of his balls this year. That helps. Let's look at our progressive game flow. Yeah, it'll start with those quarterbacks. And, and you brought him up. Dylan Gabriel has been a phenomenal. 80, 40%, 84%. That's hard in practice. He does it in, in game action. Ethan Garbers has to use his athleticism and deploy his weapons. And who's going to try to stop him? That man right there, Tatum Toyote, has been outstanding for Oregon thus far. And the man trying to disrupt, disrupt things in the middle for UCLA is Jay Toia. Well, a beautiful night in Pasadena. Sub 70 degree temps. A little chill at the base of the San Gabriels as Oregon starts Big Ten play. UCLA looks for their first ever Big Ten win after losing to Indiana a couple of weeks ago. But Dan Lanning, he is making his second trip as a coach to the Rose Bowl. He was here with Arizona State in 2013, his first trip to Pasadena in this setting as the Oregon head coach. Deshaun Foster, game number four as the Bruins head coach. Hall of Fame running back, 2-2 two and two in his playing career against the Oregon Ducks. We'll dive a little deeper into that as the night yes, goes on. Uh, an absolute stud on this field. Off we go. Big Ten after dark. Oregon and UCLA off and running. And Oregon will have the ball first after Whittington calls for the fair catch. 